Hi, this is Zada in the Halal Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make lamb kebabs. And for this, I'm going to use some lean lamb mince. And all the other ingredients are on this plate. And they include green chilies, onion, coriander, clove garlic, some ginger, and some pomegranate seeds. Now the pomegranate seeds add a lovely tang to the mixture, okay? And this is the, the Persian influence on Indian food. So what I'm going to do is, is prepare the mixture first. So first of all, I'm going to grind some of the ingredients in the Maggi mix, okay? The ingredients are half an onion, a clove of garlic, three green chilies, a third of a bunch of coriander, one egg for binding the mixture together okay and then you put the lid on and give it a quick whiz and to this i'm going to add half the mince okay and the reason why i do this is that i like kebabs that i make to have some texture if you pulverize the whole mixture then it becomes too um, synthetic tasting Okay, this way you're going to have the texture to the kebab. Now, to that mixture, I'm going to add my spices. That's a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of chilli powder, and a teaspoon of garam masala. Okay. And give it another whiz, okay. just to mix everything up. And now we're going to take the mince and put it in the bowl. Okay, so now we use the other half of the mince. So this is about six ounces of mince. Okay, and we're going to put this all together. And as I said before, these Kebabs are delicious on a barbecue, so you don't have to fry them. You can grill them on top of the griddle or on a barbecue, okay? And then you get your hands in and give it a good mix, okay? There we are. And the next thing you do is form it into little Kebabs. Okay. Okay. Take a portion of the mixture, roll it into a ball, flatten it down, and there you have a kebab. Okay. I'm just going to put there, like so. And again. And you can make these as big or as little as you want. If you make them really small, you can have them on the end of cocktail sticks and have them as canapes. You can make them huger and make them like burgers and have them between baps or in um, pita bread with salad. Again, it's very versatile. Or in my case, I'm going to have them as a snack. Okay, there we are. So these are now ready to go onto the frying pan where I'm going to fry them, shallow fry them, until they're golden brown, okay? And then I'm going to just put a little bit of oil, just, just enough to shallow fry the lamb kebabs, okay? So once the oil has heated up, I'm just going to gently lower the kebabs, okay? Now, the, you just cook these very quickly for about five minutes on each side until they're golden brown, and then they're done, okay? So, as you can see, they're, they're beginning to, to cook. If you look at them. 
mince doesn't take that long to cook anyway, so. It's very important that you cut them through evenly. Okay, they're nearly done, and the way to test them is just to prod them a bit. And if any red comes out, then you know they're not done. These are nearly done. As I was saying before, the kebabs were introduced to India by the Persians when they conquered northern India, which is now part of Pakistan. That's where I originate from. And there you have your kebabs ready to serve.